Hello everyone. Do I look a little different today? I have my hair pulled back so that you can see my earrings. They're my globe earrings and they have to do with today's story. Well today is called Ascension Sunday and this is when we get to celebrate or remember when Jesus went back up into heaven. And before he left he told his disciples go into all the world and preach my gospel to all creation. Well, I know a great song that goes with this. It's called, Hey Man, Do You Know My Lord? Now, there's some actions and you have to echo me. Some of you might know the song, but some are not. So, I'm going to show you. If I go thumbs up, then you guys say thumbs up. If I say elbows in, then you guys would say elbows in. So, I say it first and then you say it. Okay, let's try the song and I'll back up to here. Hopefully, you can see my feet. Not quite. Maybe... Just going to see if I can tip the camera down a little bit. Okay. Anyways, let's give it a go. Hey man, do you know my Lord? Hey man, do you know my Lord? Tell the people from shore to shore singing, Hey man, do you know my Lord? Thumbs up. Hey man, do you know my Lord? Hey man, do you know my Lord? Tell the people from shore to shore singing, Hey man, do you know my Lord? Thumbs up, elbows in. Hey man, do you know my Lord? Hey man, do you know my Lord? Tell the people from shore to shore singing, Hey man, do you know my Lord? Thumbs up, elbows in, knees together. Hey man, do you know my Lord? Hey man, do you know my Lord? Tell the people from shore to shore singing, Hey man, do you know my Lord? Thumbs up, elbows in, knees together, toes together. Hey man, do you know my Lord? Hey man, do you know my Lord? Tell the people from shore to shore singing, Hey man, do you know my Lord? Thumbs up, elbows in, knees together, toes together, bum out. Hey man, do you know my Lord? Hey man, do you know my Lord? Tell the people from shore to shore singing, Hey man, do you know my Lord? Thumbs up. Elbows in, knees together, toes together, bum out, chin up. Hey man, do you know my Lord? Hey man, do you know my Lord? Tell the people from shore to shore singing, Hey man, do you know my Lord? Thumbs up, elbows in, knees together, toes together. Bum out, chin up, thumb out. Hey man, do you know my Lord? Hey man, do you know my Lord? Tell the people from shore to shore singing, Hey man, do you know my Lord? Thumbs up, elbows in, knees together, toes together. Bum out, chin up. Palm out, turn around. Hey man, do you know my Lord? Hey man, do you know my Lord? Tell the people from shore to shore, singing, Hey man, do you know my Lord? Thumbs up, elbows in, knees together, toes together. Palm out, chin up, palm out. Turn around, sit down. <laughs> okay, while you stay seated, I'm going to tip this camera back up. Now, did you ever have someone leave and it made you feel sad? Well, that happened to Jesus' disciples a few times. Of course, when he died, oh my goodness, that was so sad. They were just heartbroken. But, but then he rose again and they were like, oh wow, he's back. But then 40 days later, he left again and went back to heaven. 
I wonder how they felt that second time. But you know, Jesus was not meant to be here on this earth, physically living here on this earth with us forever. He was sent here with a job to do. God had a plan right from the beginning. And Jesus fulfilled God's plan. He died to take the punishment for all of our sins so our relationship with God could be restored again. And his job was done. And after he rose, he stayed here on, for, on earth for 40 days, and then he went back up to heaven. But he promised that he would be with us always. And God's plan was not done. Jesus let his disciples know that God was going to be sending them a helper. He was going to be sending them the Holy Spirit. But, oh, that's for next week's story. So you'll hear about that next week. In today's story, Jesus gave his disciples and us a job to do. I wonder if you remember what that job was. Well, we can read about it in the Bible. And I'm going to read about it in Matthew and Mark and Luke. Have you ever been somewhere with a bunch of people and they come back and they tell different parts of the same thing that happened? Yeah, because you might be looking at it from here and you might be looking at it from there. And well, the, all these three stories are a little bit different, but they're the same story, and they're all true because everyone had a different exciting part to tell about it. So I'm going to read it to you first from Matthew, Matthew 28. Then the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had told them to go. And Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore... Go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, even to the very end of the age. So that was in Matthew. Let's see what Mark had to say. Mark chapter 16. Jesus said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. There's that job we were given to do. And after the Lord had spoken to them, he was taken up into heaven and he sat at the right hand of God. Then the disciples went out and preached everywhere. Sounds like they were doing the job they were told to do. And now from Luke, Luke chapter 24. When he had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, that he, meaning Jesus, when Jesus had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and he blessed them. And while he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up to heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. So, did you hear those three lessons? Hmm, did you catch? I wonder how the disciples felt when Jesus left. It said they returned to Jerusalem with great joy. They were not left alone. Jesus promised he would be with them always. And he gave them and he gave us a job to do. To go to the whole of creation and let them know this wonderful thing that God has done for them. And that leads me to our craft today. Do you remember last week I said, oh, I want to make a rocket sometime. I wonder when I can fit this in. And, oh, it totally fits in with today's story. And perhaps you saw them in the background. I'll get them. Well, I thought since we're supposed to go to all creation, what a better way to do that than on a rocket. <laughs> we could really go far if we were on a rocket. So I had lots of fun building four different kinds of rockets, and I'm wondering what kind of rocket you're going to build. Of course, a paper towel roll works great because it makes a nice tall rocket. But if you don't have a paper towel roll, you can do what I did. Um, and I just took two paper towel, no, toilet paper rolls, <laughs> taped them together, and then put this around, and then I got a tall rocket. And then I got a tall rocket, and I used paint, but you can use felt markers. This was made out of cardboard. I'll show you. You just take a piece of cardboard and cut out a circle, and then you find the middle point and make a slit up, and then you just curl it around, 
and you make a nice pointy top. You can paint it or you can use felt or crayons and color it. Or you know what? You might have some Kleenex box that is a really pretty Kleenex box and you can just cut out the Kleenex box. I have one like that and I'll show you in a minute. You can add bling to it. Of course, you want to add a cross because that's what we're doing. We're going to spread the gospel. I have a little guy on there. Probably not a good idea to ride on the outside of the rocket, but anyways. <laughs> and then for these things, again, just another piece of cardboard. I hope you're saving your cardboard and your recycle bins. And I cut out a bottom shape and then I traced it and I cut it out the top. And what works really cool is you make a slit there and a slit there and you just slide it in. And then I bent it together a little bit. And then I slipped there and slipped there and then I bent it together a little bit. And I got this cool rocket shooting off. Yeah, I'll show you some of my other ones. This guy is fun because <laughs> this is what I had made a couple weeks ago. Remember when we were doing the painting with toilet paper rolls? I thought, whoa, well that kind of makes a cool rocket. And then I gave him a stumpy nose with an egg carton. Made and then I thought, I'm going to make him look kind of funny. Added eyes and a mouth. Of course, I put on a cross with ribbon. And then with paper, I made the flames shooting out. After, I kind of thought, I think it looks more like a fish than a rocket. But it was fun. And look at that. Whew, that's a lot of fun to play with, this one. And here's when I made it. So I had a smaller circle. So the top and the was smaller. And then I took macaroni and I made a cross with macaroni. I put pom-poms around. I had a little bit of foam, but this can be used with paper too or ribbon. Ribbon would be really nice. But this has some little sprinkles on it. I don't know if you can see it. No, I guess you can't. But from here, it's got sparkles on it. So it's neat when it's flashing about, I can see it sparkling at me. So this was a really fun one. And see, it's just made with a paper towel roll. So you can make short ones. Then I decided to make another tall one. Again, I taped two paper towel rolls together because I didn't have a, no, taped two toilet paper rolls together because I didn't have a paper towel roll. Anyways, and then I had a pretty Kleenex box, so I made the top, so then I didn't have to paint it or color it. And I made the bottom as well. Now this bottom is a little different than the other bottom because see these pointy things? It's kind of a little unstable. So I made the bottom this way this time and again made the slits and then just slid it in. Yeah, and it stands like that. I drew across. I put stars all over this one. And can you see what paper I used? I love using music. I thought if I'm going to go into the world, I'm going to sing the gospel to everybody. So I used music paper and a little pipe cleaner. But there's no end to how you can decorate your rocket. I bet it's going to look awesome. I bet it's going to look awesome. So what I would like you to do is have fun making your rockets and then bring them along next Sunday because we're going to be doing a song with these rockets next Sunday. So have fun making your rocket and bring it along to next Sunday. Now before I go, I want to give you a couple little reminders. Save boxes of every size and shape you can. Save toilet paper rolls. Save paper towel rolls. Save cardboard. Um, one, uh, boxes of many different sizes because one of these days we're going to be making a castle. And so we need lots of toilet paper rolls and we need boxes of all different sizes. So I hope that you go and raid your recycle box every week. And one last thing. Again, remember to look for something that might look like a clam. Because one of these days, I'm going to fit that in. It could be a box. Of course, you cut those flaps off. I even found this. We finished with our, our dishwasher soap. thought this would be a funny clam. Anyways, have fun making your rockets today. And remember... The story for today is Jesus wants you to go and share with everybody the wonderful news of how much God loves you and how he sent Jesus to forgive you for all the wrong things that you've done because he wants to restore this relationship with you and he promises to be with you for always. Yeah. Bye-bye and have a good week. Oh, and bring your rocket next week. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>